the man asks to hurry. And one wonders how they allow an old car to drive on the street. And he keeps rushing the car in front. He comments that he will be late because of that old car in front. Then he manages to overtake, and then stops in front of the car. He gets out of the car and goes towards the old car. The man asks what's the matter. He asks why he is carrying this old tin can, disturbing others. And the man says the car has been with them for years, and he's no better than anyone else for having a new car and he says not to disturb others. The man tells him to follow the path and leave him alone. And the rude man says that the old man is ridiculous walking down the street with that old car, and he does have a good car and not a piece of junk. The man says he judges people a lot by their appearance. And he continues to be rude. The man says he has a lot to do, and says he will follow his path. But the rude man continues insulting him, and comments that he must not have done anything in life, and now he is there old, with no direction in life and even with a car that is falling apart and getting in the way of others. The man says he doesn't have time to waste on him, and he tells the old man to take this trash off the street. And he leaves there irritated. He arrives at the place he wanted. Right behind comes the man with his humble car. He parks the car, next to the rude man's car. And he goes his way in peace. The man says good afternoon. The boy asks what he wants there. Well, it's not enough that he disturbed him on the street, and now he's come for an interview and the man is there to bother him, and he shouts for the secretary. The man tells him to lower his voice. The boy doesn't listen to him, and he shouts for the secretary. And the man laughs at the boy's attitude. And the man says he is very rude. The boy says the man is inconvenient. And he says he must have borrowed some clothes. And he can't wait for the owner to arrive and put him out. The man says the boy is pathetic. And he says he used an expression before about his car. Saying it's an old can. The boy agrees. The man says his car took him to several places. And he says that the boy has a new car, and even new. And he says he still dresses well, and in expensive clothes, that's remarkable. But that doesn't get him very far. And the boy says insults to the man, and calls the man tacky and says that he needs to learn to be elegant with him. And the man says he should know, he's the one in charge of the company. The man, however, doesn't believe it. The man says that the boy really has no idea about things. He sits down. 
and he says that managing a construction company as important as this is difficult. And he says that the company has a very different employee relationship policy. The boy asks why he is saying these things. The man gets angry and says that he is the owner of this construction company. And he comments that the boy has nothing to do with his company. And he says the boy is rude and must never have heard about interpersonal relationships. The boy is embarrassed. And he tries to make a lame excuse. And he comments that previously he just wanted to arrive on time, as he is punctual for work. And he says he would like to portray himself with the man. And he starts saying that he just wanted to arrive on time, because he really values that and values work. The man jokes and says it was because of the old car. And boy does it matter. The man says the boy needs to improve a lot, and he might as well dismiss him now. And he adds that what matters most is how a person deals with others. And he says that anyone who wants to work here at the company needs to understand that the way they treat others is much more important than anything else. Because everyone here should be treated the same way. The boy speaks to the man, who promises that he will treat everyone the same, and it doesn't matter the position or anything like that, and he would really like the man to give him this job opportunity. And he says that he is an excellent professional, and will adhere to all the man's teachings and always treat the people around him well. The man tells the boy that material goods mean nothing about the person. Because what is inside a person is the most important thing. And he says he will give the boy an opportunity to become a better person. And he says that he hopes the boy can stop being rude and treat the people around him better. The boy thanks the man for his kindness and says he will do his best. The man says to go to HR, that he will give instructions and the boy will have that opportunity. And the boy promises to be a better human being. And he says he's grateful, and goes to HR as the man asked. And the man takes a deep breath. 